Well, greetings, friends. We're in the season of spring break and on the cusp of spring itself. Grays and browns are giving way to all beautiful shades of green. We've come to the end of a year of isolation, hibernation, anxieties, fears, and conflicts of all kinds. Yet, we're not quite back to normal, whatever normal might be. But it does seem that normalcy is more at hand for us right now. So, it seems to me something of an oxymoron that we're in this season of spring break. I'm not longing for just a break from what we've endured last year. I'm longing for an end to what we've had to endure. So, hmm, what would, what would a never-ending spring break look like? I'm thinking we would weary of that too. It seems to me we are creatures with a need for both predictability and routine, as well as a need for surprises, change, and refreshment. We need many forms of Sabbath. The truth is, as an old country music uh, singer once sang, I never promised you a rose garden. God could have said those words. Life is full of drudgery, hard work, and troubles, burdens, if you will. If, if all we saw and smelled were roses, we would find them wearisome also. God knows us well and is why the idea of Sabbath is so important to our overall physical, mental, and spiritual health. Too much of anything wears us out. Maybe like me, for me, the psalmist words from Psalm 55, 6 might resonate with you too. Oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Whatever we have been doing and enduring for any too long a time creates in us this longing to run away and be at rest. Jesus said, though, that the Sabbath was made for us and not the other way around. So what does Sabbath rest look like for you? Is it engaging in this modern concept we call vacation? A time when we leave the familiar place and go somewhere else and play. But how many times have you heard somebody say or you've said to yourself, I need a rest from my vacation. Sometimes we change up the routine and exchange our busyness for some other kind of busyness, only to find that we didn't really rest. We didn't rest at all from our labors. Rather, we exchanged one set of labors for another. So yes, we can even make play become work. And in addition, we all know someone, and maybe it's us, whose burden is one that they cannot set aside, even for a moment. I think of people like Nelson Mandela, who was imprisoned unjustly for so many years. That was a burden he couldn't run away from. But Jesus said, come to me all who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So what does rest in Jesus look like? That, that kind of a break or rest is unlike the spring break we're in. It's unlike the vacation, family vacation that can leave us more weary than when we began it. Jeremiah um, said, Stand by the roads and look and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is and walk in it and find rest for your souls. So this kind of rest is being still and resting in the Lord, trusting God. Let me say that again, trusting God. It's a quieting of the mind, the body, and the spirit. But how, would, how do we do that? How do we do what Jeremiah suggested? Really trusting in God is what it's all about. It's really embracing living in and leaning on Jesus. We grow weary because we lean on our own strength. We get confused about what God's burden is and what our burden is. We end up not trusting God to do what God, only God can do. And all we do is wear ourselves out trying to do both our work and God's work. It's why Jesus also said, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or what you will, about your body, what you will wear. Is not, is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Trusting in God, really trusting in God, 
is where rest is found, even when one cannot fly away like the dove. So friends, Sabbath is more than a break from the daily familiar work of life. Yes, a vacation can refresh us and bring us rest, as can a cool glass of water and a comfy chair after a hot day of work in the sun. But the weariness of carrying a heavy burden can also be eased. And that weariness is so much more oppressive than a day of labor in the sun. So put your whole trust in God. Do what you can do and let God carry the rest for you.